वेलकम बैक मेहजुबीन हियर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू समराइज हेक्टर ह्यूग मोनरोज शॉर्ट स्टोरी मिसिस पैकलटाइट्स टाइगर द ऑथर रोट बाय हिज पेन नेम सकी वी हैव थ्री कैरेक्टर्स हियर मिसिस पैकलटाइट लूना बिम्बर्टन एंड लुइजा मेबिन मिसिस पैकलटाइट इज अ वेन एरोगेंट वुमेन फ्रॉम अ वेल्दी बैकग्राउंड who who was jealous of her social acquaintance luna bimberton mrs pecklethwaite was ready to do anything to prove that she was far better than luna next we have luna bimberton she was also an envious woman and could not digest any kind of good news related to mrs pecklethwaite and lastly we have luisa mebin she was a paid secretary of mrs pecklethwaite and was a selfish and greedy woman mrs pecklethwaite wanted to shoot a tiger not because she had a passion for hunting but because she was jealous of somebody this somebody was a woman by the name luna bimberton both ladies knew each other well since they moved around in the same social circle One day Mrs Pecklethwaite got the news from Luna that the latter had made an achievement. The achievement was that Luna had crossed 11 miles in an airplane with an Algerian aviator. Luna had boasted about her adventures so much that now Mrs Pecklethwaite had reached a point when she couldn't take it any more. She wanted to do something so extraordinary that Luna's airplane experience would be nothing in comparison. So Pecklethwaite made the decision to shoot a tiger and invite Luna to have lunch with her at her home at Curzon Street in England. Pecklethwaite dreamt of adorning the party room of her home with a tiger skin carpet. so as to arouse the envy of luna bimberton now as far as the task of shooting a tiger was concerned mrs pecklethwaite spread the news amongst the villagers in her neighborhood that she was looking for the opportunity to kill a tiger however she also made it known that she wanted to do this with the least amount of effort and with no risk and for their help in making it possible for her to do so she would pay rupees 1000 to the villagers which was a big amount at that time the villagers were so excited with mrs pecklethwaite's proposal that they went about looking for a suitable tiger and then eventually they found one this was a very old tiger which had become very weak it had stopped prowling the dense jungles for big game but settled for small animals instead the villagers found a goat to use as a bait to attract the tiger when all the preparations were made with the villagers keeping guard in different locations of the forest to see that the tiger would not get diverted from its path Mrs Pecklethwaite was called to take her position on a raised platform on a tree and wait for the old tiger to come that way. Mrs Pecklethwaite was accompanied by her assistant whose name was Louisa Mebin. Eventually the tiger arrived at the spot. When it saw the goat that had been tethered a short distance away, the tiger did not jump upon it. Instead, it decided to sit and take some rest luisa may been thought that the old tiger was sick there was also the fear that it might die of old age any moment even before mrs pecklethwaite could actually shoot it luisa asked pecklethwaite to hurry up and shoot the tiger that way the goat would be saved and pecklethwaite wouldn't have to dish out that extra money for the goat Mrs Pecklethwaite took aim. She fired a shot. The tiger died instantly. The villagers came out in large numbers to celebrate the victory. Later, however, 
Louisa may been pointed out to Mrs. Packletide that it was the goat which had died from a gunshot and not the tiger. The tiger had died from a heart attack. Mrs. Packletide was quite annoyed to hear the news and hoped that Louisa Mebin would keep her mouth shut. The news about Mrs. Packletide shooting the tiger had spread far and wide. The newspapers featured Mrs. Packletide's photograph. The lady was elated. She sent a tiger claw brooch to Luna Bimberton just to spite her and invited her to a lunch party. Luna Bimberton on her part got so jealous of Mrs. Packletide's success in killing a tiger that she refused to read the newspapers. A few days after the party at Mrs. Packletide's house, Louisa Mebin began a conversation with Packletide. She said that people would be quite amused if they somehow learned that instead of killing a tiger, it was only a goat that she had shot. Mrs. Packletide replied that nobody would believe Louisa Mebin's story. Louisa said that Luna Bimberton would certainly believe her story, even if the rest of the world didn't. Mrs. Packletide was shocked. She asked Louisa if she was planning to reveal her secret to Luna. Louisa said that she wanted to buy a weekend cottage near Dorkin in England, but for this she needed 680 pounds. She didn't have that much of money. Sometime later, Louisa Mebin's friends were surprised to discover that she had become the owner of a beautiful cottage in the English countryside. They couldn't help wondering how she had managed to do it. Mrs. Packletide, on her part, had changed her old habits. She didn't have this craziness for hunting. If people asked her why she didn't shoot any more tigers, her reply was that it was a very expensive affair. The story ends here, my dear friends. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. Bye.